Hi, this is Luke from the Information Lab. I'm going to show you how to create a macro in Alteryx to bring in a folder of files and union them into one outputted file. I've got a folder here of XML files relating to local authorities throughout the UK. You can see there are quite a few files in there. So firstly, what I'm going to do is I have to bring in an input tool and point the input tool at the first fo file in our folder, Aberdeen City. I'm going to tell Alteryx to output the file name as a field as well. Next we go to our interface tools. We bring in a control parameter and an action. In our control parameter, we have to say file name is the value, update value, click on the file string here. Also going to bring in a message tool to give us a bit more granularity when the macro is running. I'm going to change message priority to high. Also specify the file name and the message expression. Next, I'm going to bring in a macro output tool to finish this off. Lastly, we need to go into View, Interface Designer, click on the spanner and choose Auto Configure by Name, wait until all iterations are run. Okay, I can now save this as local authorities macro. Okay, next step is to create another workflow. What I'm going to do here is bring in a directory tool. I'm going to point the directory tool at the folder where those files are stored. I'm also going to go into the file specification box select star.xml right now I'm going to right click on the canvas say insert macro I'm going to bring in the macro we just created I'm going to select full path on here and then I'm going to bring in an output data tool and choose local authorities data here, the one I created earlier. Okay, now we can run the macro. You can see at the bottom the macro is now taking all of the XML files in that folder, stacking them up underneath each other, unioning them into one outputted CSV file. This is obviously a great way to avoid uh, manual processes with Alteryx. Hope you found the, the video useful. Thank you very much.